Some take the high road, I take the low road, free from grief and strife. Sounds corny and seedy, but yes, indeedy, simple life. When asked to describe Ella Fitzgerald's talent, Dizzy Gillespie once said, Man, you can't see that far. Her talent is like the horizon. The closer you come to it, the farther away it gets. It was 1934, amateur night at Harlem's Apollo Theater. On a dare, a shy teenager from Yonkers took center stage and promptly froze. The man said, do something. And so I tried to sing like Miss Connie Boswell. And somebody in the audience said, hey, that little girl can sing. And I won first prize. You showed me the way when I was someone in distress, a heart in search of happiness. You showed me the way. Ella first topped the hit parade with a tisket, a tasket, a swinging improvisation of a nursery rhyme. She was trucking on down the avenue, but not a single thing to do. She went back, back, backing all around. When she spied it on the ground, she took it, she took it, my little yellow basket. And if she doesn't bring it back, I think that I will die. A new jazz sound began to emerge during the 1940s, bebop, and in the forefront, Ella, with a voice as rich and versatile as any instrument in the orchestra. As the years passed, her repertoire included songs by America's greatest writers, Duke Ellington, Cole Porter, George Gershwin, but no matter the songwriter, no matter the song, it was always the Ella Fitzgerald voice that amazed. The way that you hold, 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 hold your night, the way we dance till three, the way you've changed my Problems plagued Fitzgerald during her later years. Eye and heart surgery, diabetes, but she weathered them all and even considered herself lucky. Uh, I think I've been very fortunate. I've, I have a family who just sticks by me and uh, keeps me out of the doldrums. And, uh, and even my musicians are like that. They kind of steer me away from things when they see that it's going to get to me. Oh, the shop has curly teeth, dear. And he shows them curly white. After that first night, that amateur contest back in 1934, Ella Fitzgerald said she wanted to spend the rest of her life singing to people. She spent the next six decades doing just that. Oh, that 